So do you ever pay attention to the way you speak? And I'm going to give you an example. Everybody, listen to this. There was a pretty rainbow after the storm yesterday. And if your voice sounded like that, what could it mean? A, you're physically out of shape, B, a weakened vocal fold, or C, fluid in your ears. So, I heard some Bs out there. Bs? Mm -hmm. And that's have some Bs? Predominant Bs, and that is the correct answer. B, a weakened vocal fold. Now, having said that, if that just came up suddenly and went away after a day or two, more likely than not, you just have a little laryngitis. Voice strained, you voice went to the strain, ball game, something. you've been screaming mm -hmm. at your spouse, maybe. But if you have a constant, <laughs> weakened voice like that, that's very airy, what is it, what's happening there is air is escaping through the vocal cords. Those vocal cords aren't coming together correctly because there may be paralysis of exactly one of those cords. Right, and I just happen to have my vocal cords right here. And this is a voice box. To orient you, this is the base of the tongue. This is the epiglottis right here. That's that little structure that when we swallow, it pops up and prevents food from going into your air pipe which we need the trachea, the larynx, that we use to speak. So let me show you how these vocal cords work. When we normally breathe, your, vo your vocal cords are going to spread apart as we take a breath and then come apart. When we speak, the vocal cords are supposed to come together. Now, if you have a paralyzed vocal cord on one side, let's say like, like so, that when you speak, when you try to say something, only one side comes in, and what does that mean? More air is going through. That gives you a breathy voice. Mm -hmm. And so this would be something if you had a chronically breathy voice. We've, we've even done this on the show before where you take a scope and you can look at what's going on with the vocal cords because the other thing is you have to also think about could there be a tumor? Could there be something? There could. Something and else the going obvious on. thing is the first thing you said, what is, is it uh, inflammation? Is it infection? More likely cause would also be a vocal nodule, or they call a singer's nodule, mm -hmm. on one of the vocal cords. Just overuse, right? Overuse that you see in people that use a voice a lot. But there are definitely more serious potential causes, like you said, tumor cancer, and any injury to this nerve. There's a specific nerve that causes your vocal cords to move in and out. That nerve happens to go through your thyroid gland. So if you're having Problems with the thyroid gland, thyroid surgery, thyroid disease, one of the first signs may be a change in your voice. It may be hoarseness. But I want you to take a look at this little, actually, I did an, a nasopharyngoscopy, laryngoscopy, right here in our exam room. And you're going to see this. You're going to see vocal cords. All right, so we're passing down base of tongue. I'm taking a look. This is the base of the tongue. There you go. Voila. Did you see that? There There's the epiglottis. Yeah. Beautiful. There's her vocal cords. You can see them going in and out. And when she speaks, you see those two little vocal cords coming together. That's beautiful. It really beautiful. is. And the good news is that there are treatment options. Obviously, you have to consider more aggressive options if you have full, complete vocal cord paralysis. I know that there are some surgeries. I know they're not easy. They're very difficult. But for a lot of people, even just spe a speech pathologist speech therapy, can help you voice improve. Voice retraining. And actually what they try to do is they inject this vocal cord that, that is in that open position. They inject things into it to give it back more bulk so that you can approximate the vocal cords and, and speak a little more normally, less breathy. You know, my, my grandmother, God bless her soul, one of the most amazing women I'll, I'll ever have the pleasure to meet in my life, did get that nerve nicked. And, ever, and after that, before her death, she, she had that breathy voice the rest of her From life. thyroid surgery. Yeah. And it just, you know, that's, that's one of those things where when that happens, it's really hard to talk normally mm -hmm. when it's truly paralyzed like that. that is, you know what? I love the fact that we were able to show that clip yeah, of those vocal yeah. words. that's cool. And I wish that every time I had to intubate someone in the ER, the vocal cords were that, well, that big. big.